Well, here we are. We've started the Junior Carp Challenge 2019. We've had a good kip overnight. They've all bivved up, as you can see over here. They all had their tents out last night. It's absolutely baking hot. We should be in for a cracking, cracking day. Let's hope we catch some fish. We're going to have a prize for the fastest fish, the biggest fish. We've got three sections. We're going to have three section prizes. And of course, the big three prizes this year are a year with the Sticky Baits Promotions team. And you've got £100 of Sticky Baits products for second and £50 of Sticky Baits products for third. And we've got some great sponsorship today as well. Not only have we got Sticky Baits, but we've got Ridge Monkey who've come along and they've brought some great goodie bags. We've also got our sponsor for our junior section, Impulse Baits. We've got also, we've got a last minute special prize that's come in from ProLogic, which is absolutely brilliant. And here we go. It's the start of the Junior Carp Social. Ball in! Now the rods are out, everyone's having a good time, and this is the match. Juniors are going to be fishing on their own, no help, and if they need help, We'll give them a few tips along the way and um, we've got a few people here today to help them while they're fishing because it's about fun and enjoyment tim has actually come down from ridge monkey and you tell us what you're going to be doing with them today tim okay um well first of all i'm here to help out with a little bit of marshalling um we've all got a section each and we're going to help out with the kids with any weighing fish or anything like that um, but i've also come down to represent ridge monkey brought some goodie bags uh, some prizes and each kid will go away with a handful of uh, terminal tackle, bits and bobs from Ridge Monkey, um, some stickers, uh, and I think there's a bigger prize for the, for the winners as well. So a little, little bit of everything. I don't, I don't think they're ready for that yet. I don't think they really know that you've actually come down with all those goodies. With no, no, it'll be a bit of a surprise tomorrow. Um, you know, there's, I think the match finishes at 12 o'clock tomorrow. So now we're at the Junior Social. It's not the social, it's the match, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Junior Carp Challenge, yeah. The Junior Carp Challenge, and we've got two great guys here. Who is? Liam and Jack. Liam and Jack are going to be in the marshalling. Last year was the last year. This year, they progressed to, oh, what, you kind of team leaders? Yeah, yeah, going around doing all the weights and everything. And they're enjoying every part of it. How many fish have we had out? We've had two out at the minute. Two? Two. And what weights have they been? 15, 8 and 18 pound, four. Brilliant, can't help, can't, can't complain at that really, no, can you? Not with the heat, it's been really hot today. It's been really, really warm. You guys have even been fresh out, haven't you? The boating yeah, club. Yeah. I, I've not, I stink like a badger. <laughs> <That's laughs> right. A lot more fish will come out with the, uh, the rain coming the rain in. Coming in. Got to get a All lot of pressure. rain tonight, so well, we should hopefully. get a few fish out. Yeah. That's fantastic, we'll get that, won't we? Yeah. yeah. Also on these events is a bit of a barbecue. People get together, chat, talk about what's been happening for the day, um, enjoy the food, relaxation, and company of good friends. Now that's one of the reasons for these social events, whether it be matches or anything else, is that people can actually get to be social with each other. Because one of the reasons why people go fishing is to enjoy firstly themselves and spend some time with friends and colleagues, family and children. That's why we have these junior and uh, club events. It's the end of the day now. The sun's starting 
to get a little bit lower in the sky it's hot and humid there may be thunderstorms tonight we don't know we're hoping that the fish start feeding because currently there's nothing showing and i think the wind may be turning so it's been pushing down onto the dam wall pushing weed and debris towards that side the weed has come up this year and it's been a little bit more difficult for the juniors to cope with the weather conditions now let's have a look at the rest of the vlog and Tim from Ridge Monkey is going to be showing and speaking about a rig or a couple of rigs to other well, juniors to help them along the way because it's all about helping developing people in the sport enjoy themselves <sighs> let's have a look right we're just sat here with uh, young Joel um, talking a little bit about rigs and I'm just going to show him one of my favorite presentations which is the slip D rig it's a rig I use pretty much all the time for, for most of my pop-up bottom bait fishing and it lends itself to a, a multitude of uh, uses. So what we've got Joel is sort of 10 to 12 inches of soft coated hook link, yeah. yeah? And I've got one all tied up ready for you here. And what I've done, I've attached it um, by way of what's called a slip D. And that means it's attached to the back of the hook, as you can see, uh, on a D-rig, but the difference with this one over fixed D-rigs or stiff D-rigs is it can collapse on ejection. And what you've got, you've got a little pop-up set up like that, so the bait sits up off the bottom, and when the carp comes along and sucks in that bait, as the fish tries to blow the bait out, what happens is it blows it out, and because the D can collapse like that, on itself because it's a soft material it leaves the hoop point in the fish's mouth and the bait gets blown out leaving that point to do its job so that's pretty much it we've got a little bit of putty down the center part of the the hook link there and that helps to sink it a little anti-tangle sleeve this end and that helps to kick away the hook link and prevents tangles and then a small shot either a number four or number number one shot there to counterbalance the weight of that pop-up and that's how it sits and that's my go-to slip d pop-up rig um, you can use it with a number of different presentation options uh, different hooks different sizes and different materials but ideally you want a soft coat on the braid there soft coated material that can collapse and that's it the slip d rig give it a go <laughs> Good morning, it's first in the morning, we're walking around to have a look at some fish that people have caught. Adam has uh, done really well last night, so there's <sighs> a, a lot of fish out, a lot of fish out, and it's good to see the anglers are having a good time, let's excuse the wind, it's quite, uh, quite gusty this morning, let's go and take a look at what he's caught. <laughs>
Adam's in again. Currently just been weighing his fish for photographs. And I wouldn't say it rattled off, it was one bleep, weren't it Adam? Yeah. One bleep. He's currently into a fish. He's also keeping the rod not in the air. Like a good match tactic is to keep the rod low and it keeps the fish up out of the weed. That's exactly what Adam's doing now and you can see that there. So he's taking his time, not rushing it. As more fish. Yeah, I've got nine now. Nine fish? Nine lost one, yeah. He's just bragging now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a spot of rock in now, so, you know, just taking away, getting the odd bite every hour, and then getting a shoal on me, getting four bites, moving off, and then coming back. Tell me something that you just said off camera, which was something really interesting. It was Choddy when you first started fishing that area? Yeah, I was, I was casting out, and I was getting a drop, but it wasn't firm, it was like plugging in a bit, but now I'm casting out, it's solid. You know, it's cracking down, so the fish are like cleared away the rubbish and got down to the hard and stuff, which is good. This is how it works. Sometimes you've got to get the fish out there, get them feeding, and then keep it topped up. Just like on match fishing, it's match fishing. That's exactly how it works out. Yeah, exactly, mate. Yeah, yeah. It? Happy boys! <laughs> was it, mate? So, Adam is currently in the lead. All just underneath 20 pounds. Now, a lot of them spawned out, to be fair. But the healthy looking fish, well done, Adam. Now, I want to know whether somebody else has had some fish on the other side yet. This is where it gets really interesting. It's the last six hours of the match, and the fish have started to switch on after a full day. We've been really hot yesterday. Great. Fantastic, isn't it? Let's see if any more fish come out, and let's see who the winner is eventually. This is a really good lake for matches. Really good lake for fish, perfectly honest. Really doing the magic. Just waiting for one or one slow coach over here. I think he's knackered, but it is fair enough. It's been a great, uh, it's been a great two days. We've had one absolutely ridiculously hot day yesterday, and it's a lot nicer today. I wish it'd been like this for two days, but it wasn't. I have to say it's been a bit of a competition of disappointments, excitement. I know all, there's a few of the marshals who are absolutely shattered. Um, they'll think, probably think twice about which section they choose next year. But um, overall, has everybody had fun? Don't sound too enthusiastic, do you? <laughs> I think everybody wants to go to sleep. Well, what we're going to do now, we're going to just, we're going to give some prizes out to everybody. Unfortunately, there were one or two people who didn't catch. So we're going to start at the bottom and work up. When I get up to fourth place, I'm then going to change it round, then I'm going to do the winner second and third. Okay, now Tim Charles has come along today, he's going to help give out the prizes and um, please don't run off at the end because we want to get, definitely get a big group photo because I want to remember all your lovely faces so that when you want to come along next year, you can um, 
just tell me I was there and I'll know who you are and I can save you all the paperwork and I can just transfer your details over. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hand over to Tim and um, we're just going to give some prizes out and some medals for the people that uh, have taken part, okay? Tim Brown, well done buddy. There you go. There's your medal. There's your goodie bag. Want to turn around for a photo? Well done. <laughs> Lewis. There you go, Captain. Joe Warburton. Come on, Joe. There you go, buddy. Well done, fella. Joel. Come on, Joel. There you go, buddy. Well done. Put this on you. Go on, mate. Where's your mum? There you go. That way, mate. You got it, John? There you go, fella. Well done, Joel. Thomas Lee. Thomas Lee. Come on, young Thomas, where are you? Oh, he's here. Good effort, matey. Well done. There you go. Put it back for you. Got that on? Yeah. <laughs> well done, mate. It's fish. Fastest fish goes to. Jack Isaac. Jack Isaac. Well done. Four minutes, I believe. Well done, mate. There you go. There you go. We've got an extra special goodie bag for you. Well done, matey. How's your loop, Dad? All right. Well done, mate. Biggest fish. Biggest fish. Adam Biddulph, £22.9. Fix. <laughs> there you go, mate. Put that on. Biggest fish. Hang on, I haven't finished yet. Same for you. Extra big goodie bag. Thank you. You right, Alan? Well done, fella. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to announce the winner, and then we're going to do the second and the third, okay? Now, <coughs> the winner, with £193.05 ounces, is Adam Biddle. Right, take the stage. Do look happy. Are you in, Pete? No, Pete, come in, come in the front, come in. You may as well get in. Yeah, yeah, I'm just hang on here. Because he'll get them anyway. Yes. So what, what we'll do, we'll move on to second place with, and actually considering some of the problems he had with an amazing eighty-two pound three ounces, it's Jack Isaac. Yeah. Well done, Jack. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'll put it 
put it over. Yeah, 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 yeah you can do it. Yeah. Got it? Yeah, so um, because I'm uh, already with a bait company, I'd like to give my one-year contract to second place. Do the handshake again, boys, and just hold it there. Well done, fellas. We weren't expecting that, were you? Hello. <laughs> One more, a bit of a surprise really, but one of the things about these events, it's all about learning, it's all about progression and so on. And we've had one person going round over the last couple of days, just having a look at the people that have been around the lake and how they've been fishing, what they had, what they've been using, how they've been doing it. And we were donated one final prize. Now that prize is gonna be given by the person who's donated it and I'll leave that to him to let you know about it. Hey, you all right? What we've got is we've been speaking with Peter and when we do progression within fishing, we're looking for people are starting and moving forward and enjoying the fishing and taking things that people are saying to them and really moving forward and taking that information and getting better at fishing and enjoying it. Now, what I have noticed with speaking with Peter and people do the events, there's been an outstanding young boy. And he's started to take things on board and he's really, really been enjoying his fishing and growing and taking it in. So when you speak to him, he's absorbing it like a sponge and is moving forward. Now, we have a little gift from ProLogic. He says, right, we've got a gift for somebody. It needs to go somebody who's progressing and growing forward on in the fishing. Right? And that person is Joe. Come on, Joe, here you come. There you go, Joe, that's yours. That's him, you're all right, come on. Photo bombing. Well done, mate. No worries. Just, just got one more to do. You got, you got somebody? Yeah. Fourth. You've got fourth, didn't you? Yeah. Right, does anybody realise that I can't count? And as you get not, not uh, scripted, is it? This in any way. This is this is not scripted in any way, shape or form. It basically boils down to the fact that I can't count, and I said first to fourth, and I forgot fourth as well as third. So, with no further ado, poor old Oliver thinks we've probably left him out. Wherever you are, Oliver, where are you, Oliver? Come in, Oliver. Oliver was fourth with fourteen pounds six. Fourteen pounds six ounces. Here you go, Oliver. This is for you. This is for you. And this is for you. It's an angling direct voucher. Hold on, buddy. Okay. Well, finally, just want to just want to do a quick advert. Next weekend, next Sunday. We're doing um, a family pairs memorial. Go on. Have you been up there? No. See, you've missed another one. Who's over missed? You missed Finley. Finley. Why don't you just ask if anybody's not been up? <laughs> you did miss Finn as well. You missed Finn as well. All oh, right, well, that's what the other envelope was. Else want to come up and grab a prize? <laughs> well, it's all right. I have got a prize left, so. What? One lad where? 
Oh yeah, so I'm, I'm sorting Joe separately. I was wondering why we got extra goodie bags. Yeah. Wouldn't work out. Yeah. I think we need a new junior development officer. <laughs> I'll sack myself later. Finn. Well done, Finn. There you go. Cool. Well done. Where's Joe? Joe, come in. I've got a prize for you at home, so it's not here. Well done. Well done, mate. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at it and having well thinking. Well done. <laughs> just quickly, finally, just to let you know, we've got a very special event next Sunday at Withnall, which is up near Chorley. Um, it's to commemorate the passing of our long standing uh, chairman of the club. Um, it's a family event, so the idea being is it's a family pairs. So it's mother and son, father and son, granddad and grandma and son or daughter. All we want to do is really give him a good send off. So if it is for me that one of the one of the pair has to be a member though. So if anybody wants to come along, take one of these and just get in touch with me in the week. We've got a few spaces left. It'll be a good day. It'll be good fun. It'll be, be good fun. It's very, very basic match. It's uh, float fishing only or using a whip, so it's dead basic, but it, that's the idea, that's the way Dennis would have wanted it. So anyway, I'll just close by saying thanks for every, to everybody for coming. Thanks particularly to the marshals who've really, really had to uh, make an effort because yeah, they've been up against it. That, so give them a round of applause. <laughs> and... I hope to see you all again next year. There are one or two that might just be too old, but I might be looking at changing the age limit next year due to other competitions. <laughs> yeah, it's only so Tim can't enter. But no, what am I? I'm, I'm looking at ch potentially changing it because things like the BYCAC have changed their rules as well, and a fish just rolled just behind you there. Yeah. Um, They've moved it to 19, so there's a very the possibility I might move the um, competition to 19 for next year. Yeah. So we'll try. I know so I can miss him out next year as well. Anyway, so all I'd say is thanks very much, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And if there's anybody who's got any thoughts or comments, please feel free. Let me know. I'm always available on. If you do use Facebook, don't rush to don't don't uh, hold your breath because I'm not. I'm not a great fan of Facebook, so I don't use it that often, but please email me or just ring me anytime you want. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. Well done, Peter.